Alright, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You, and in this video, this is going to be another video on the hub and spoke um, model. And if you haven't seen the other two previous videos, I'd go ahead and check those out. This is a series in which we're building a hub and spoke environment in Azure. So, in this part of the uh, videos, um, we're going to go ahead and actually start to peer the connections together. And what that is, is so when you create VNets in Azure, um, these VNets are essentially separated. So you got one virtual network, another virtual network, and then, you know, say another one. And these VNets, you know, essentially they don't um, communicate with each other. But sometimes if you're, say, in a corporate environment or a business where you have resources that are shared, you may want to do this a more logical way versus having to set up, say, you know, um, VPN tunnels and things like that. And with it all being on Azure's network, you can actually utilize their um, their core network and get all the routing benefits and things like that. So in my resource group, so we created this environment in the last videos using Terraform. So if I filter this here, so we got our virtual networks here, so three virtual networks which span various solder ranges. So 10.0.0 slash 16 for that one. Uh, let's find another one. Test network. 10.1.0.0 and I think the other one's 10.2.0.0. So what I'm going to try to do is, so what we have is we have three um, three VMs here. Each with various different um, IP addresses. So I'm going to open these up in different tabs. So it's probably going to make me sign. Let me just click on one of these here. So we got 10.0.1.4. So the other one's going to be 10.1.1.4 uh, and 10.2.1.4. I'm going to connect to this Bastion. I'm going to use a Bastion host that we deployed as well. And what this is going to allow me to do is connect to my machine, without, my machine without having a publicly exposed IP address. So if I go to my hub, I think I'm just using like a standard just password here. So in your real Terraform code, you really don't want to put those in directly in your file. You want to um, pass those using variables. And add in the user. We're going to go ahead and connect in here and just show you uh, that these can't communicate before we get the peering connection going. So this is going to sign me in and the host that we're on is 10.0.1.4. We're going to go to the one that's in the hub network and that IP address is 10.2.1.4. So I'm going to do a, so ping's probably turned off, so I'm actually going to do RDP. Let's see if we can remote desktop to it. So remote desktop, 10.2.1.4. And as you can see, we have no connection to that resource there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Terraform code here and under my main.tf I have some resources and I actually have that portion saved in a notepad because I was writing it out and this is essentially what we need here and you can grab this as well from Terraform's website if you go into you go to terraform.io and you go to the registry Providers, Azure, and then we're going to look for peering. So there's some various different um, various. So basically, you just you got one a peering connection. So peerings aren't transitive. So I have three networks. So this is going to be my hub network. These are my spokes, and basically, I can't use this peering connection to talk to resources in this connection and vice versa. So basically if I want to be able to do that, I'm going to need some type of routing mechanism 
up here, whether it's a firewall, Azure's firewall, um, on my own that you could set up such as like Cisco or whatever. You're gonna need something that's gonna be able to do some transitive routing there. So to get this connected here, we're going to deploy this. Basically we have what's saying this virtual network, which is the dev network, will in the remote network will peer connect uh, will peer with this connection on the dev side and then on the hub side this is the same connection going to from the hub network to the dev network so we're just creating that connection but we're not going to create it to the other spoke this is only just for one side so I'm going to go ahead and save that and I'm going to run on apply so these take these are very pretty quick here so once these get done we'll be able to go in and check it out here so let me see so if we go into our hub VM we'll see it come down into our main network under the hub network you go to peerings and we'll see it pop up in here so let's see where we're at here so sometimes so we can see what's being created so we got two resources being added and then you want to make sure, since I did the uh, auto apply, it's, auto, it's automatically going to um, apply the resources without me saying yes. So you, in an environment where you have live resources, you'll want to do the Terraform plan just to make sure that there's no resources being destroyed you know, in case you have existing peering connections going to other parts of the network. So these are going to get created and it's pretty quick here. See, it says it's already complete on this one. The hub to dev here. This one's still creating. And then that's going to be the dev to hub here. So since that one's already done, we can probably come in and refresh this. And we see that it says connected. And then if we go to the dev network under peerings, it says updating now connected. Now, if we go back to our dev VM and we try to um, do the remote desktop connection again, it's going to come up. So now I can do the admin user and the password, which is basically just the default test password we used here. Just copy that. And then we're going to paste that in there. Hit OK. And there you go. So we have a connection to the hub network. But, um, but now if we want to try and go ahead and go to our other side, go back to the main network here. And the test side, this VM 10.1.1.4, we shouldn't be able to get to that one. So we're going to do another remote desktop connection, 10.1.1.4. So no connection from here. And then also if we go, so that, we, that shouldn't even work when we get the other side going. If we go here, and we go remote desktop connection, it's a little slow here, or actually, yeah, just taking a little time to load. There we go, so 10.1.1.4, nothing there. So now what we're going to do is go back into our Terraform code here. And we're going to copy this here. And we're going to paste it again. Paste that down here. And this is going to be test to hub here. And then it's going to be test network. And then the remote is going to be hub network. And then the name is going to be test 
or hub to test. Uh, I might have gotten those backwards, but the names just need to be unique. So hub to test. And let's go hub to, oh yeah, I must have had them backwards. So let's go test to hub. So, well actually, let's make these right. So let's go test to hub, and this is going to be hub to test. So hub network, and then test network. So let's go ahead and save that and then run it. Um, so on line 33, oh we got to change these. So test to hub here and this is going to be hub to test peer. And this should be fairly quick as well. And once this uh, gets connected, unless there's an error somewhere in something that's already pre-configured, it should go quick. And then we should be should be able to easily um, run this again and get a connection, but not be able to connect to the other side. And we can test that again here as well with another remote desktop connection. Once we see that this finishes, so no destroy, so that's good. So that means our existing um, peering connections aren't being touched. If there was some destroys, that could have been, you know, um, could have meant something was being referenced again or changed. And sometimes some of these inside Terraform will tell you if it naming is being changed or something's being done, it'll actually uh, destroy that to recreate it. So this part, so that's complete. So we should see that in the peering connections as well. So if I go to, where's my virtual network here? Test network, peerings, and connect it. So now if I go back into my browser bashing session, I should be able to, well, let's make sure that this is actually finished, okay. I should be able to connect now, and I can. So this is from the hub network, but if I go here, 10.1.1.4, there's no transitive routing in between the different, um, from the hub, from different one spoke to the other. So it doesn't forward the traffic through. So that's it for that part of the video. Um, basically, that gets our peer connection set up. We essentially have our hub and spoke configured. Then I'll do another video of showing how you can do some transit routing and route tables to actually allow the different connections between one spoke to talk to the resources in another spoke. And that can be useful in case you don't want to have to set up um, all these different types of um, peering connections because then we would have to have a peering connection here then if we have like another um, vnet connected here we would have to have this peer to here this peer to here so it just makes routing a lot easier when you can have one central place that you manage it now there are some azure limitations to how many routes you can have and route tables and things like that um, but I mean, unless you're like some super large enterprise you may never hit them and there are some soft limits too, so maybe some, some things can be increased. So again, if you have any questions in regards to the Azure peering using Terraform, drop me a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get back with you on any questions I can answer. Um, again, you know, follow my blog, letmetechyou.com. Again, I'll um, be sure to kind of uh, add some videos and um, tutorials on various things there. Again, thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you next time.